Oh, hello, I'm here back with uh, another video today, and this video is uh, all about a conduit bending. Conduit bending technique is very easy and uh, it's very soft, it's not a difficult, only it needs little tension and it needs a little bit of practice. So, today uh, I got some, uh, uh, some details here, uh, some demonstration here, uh, all about a 30 degree offset bend. So 30 degree offset bend is a little bit different than a 90 degree bend. So in this case, we are gonna bend a 30 degree. So 30 degree, two bends, we're gonna do one here, one there on these conduits. Uh, so 30 degree offset bend is very easy to do it. So it's only have to multiply by two. So what multiply by two? Let's say we have an obstacle we have obstacle that we want to uh, go on top and do our bend, 30 degree bend. Let's say that obstacle height is a five inches. So when it's a five inches, that means we are doing a 30 degree bend and five inches. So five inches multiply two equal to 10. So it's a little formula. It's a little calculation we keep in our mind. It's not difficult. So again, if our obstacle is a five inch high, and then we just multiply by two and then we get a 10 inch. So for example, five inch multiply two equal to 10. So 10 inches is our calculation that I'm going to take. So let's say this is our conduit, right? That is our conduit and this is EMT conduit about a half inch. I will explain you in a minute. So half inch EMT conduit we are taking. So our first mark on the conduit we will in my case, I'm taking eight inches. So in your case, you can take either six inches, five inches. In my case, I'm taking eight inches. My first mark will be on eight inches. And the second mark, which is a B, that is gonna be multiplied two. That's mean 10 inches. So first mark, eight inches. And from point A to point B, my second mark will be 10 inches. So this is a little formula. And let's we do it now. Right, All right. So we got a half inch EMT conduit. So it's about uh, five feet length. And I got a bender, and my bender is uh, it's just uh, not too long. But uh, my bender has uh, 10 degree, 22 degree, 30 degree, and 45 degree, 60 and 90 degree. Okay. And I got my measuring tape, and that's my obstacle. Okay. Now let's see. I'll measure my obstacle first. So let's say my obstacle is showing me five inches, right? So my obstacle is five inches. Now I'm gonna bend this pipe and then I'm gonna come up and then I'm gonna go across on top so that I can make my 30 degree bend. So as we said earlier in the chart that we are going to use the first mark, I'm going to use the first mark at eight inches, right? So that's my first mark, okay? Okay, now I'm gonna use the Sharpie, just demonstration purposes. So the first mark, I'll put my eight inches and my second mark is gonna be, because my obstacle is five inches, so second mark is gonna be on 10. So five multiply to 10. So what I'm gonna do, I'll just make all the way around make sure I'll match these, these lines together. Round mark here. So now, as being said that my first mark, I did it on eight inches, and the second one, I did it on 10 inches. Why I did it? Because we multiply by two, so my obstacle is what? Five inches? So five multiply two, that means 10 inches, okay? So now we got our mark, okay? All right, I got my bender now, and uh, my bender has a arrow mark, so that's the arrow. So that's me, my first mark, I'm gonna put right on the arrow, which is right here. You can see that? That's now, I'm gonna go and stabilize myself, and I will be bending my first bend to the 30 degree. So I think this is a 30 degree. So this line you can see here, that's a 30 degree line. 
that means when I bend my pipe, it's gonna kind of float on top of this. So let's go stabilize myself and then I bend it. Little more. When I bend it, make sure bend slowly, slowly. Don't bend like one time. So yes. Okay, so this is my first bend. Now my first bend is done is a 30 degree, and now I'm gonna take it off and twist my pipe and then I will go again on my arrow marks that's my arrow here exactly and very important I have to see if I don't have a dog leg so dog leg mean my this conduit must be a straight so I'll just double check it and I'll double check if it's a straight yeah this is a kind of straight here exactly straight and now I'm doing the second bend so second bend I'm gonna do same as a 30 degree so I'm gonna bend it bend it okay that's 30 degree okay exactly that's 30 degree okay so I'm gonna take it out and that's and I'll see I'll see a dog leg so make sure there is no dog leg and this looks good okay, no dog leg here that's my 30 degree bend. All right, so my 30 degree bend is done and uh, we're gonna check it. So, oh, this look like, all right, so here you go. And my 30 degree bend on five inch obstacle is perfect bend. You can see that? It's a perfect bend and uh, this, is, this is very good and clean bend. And that's my 30 degree bend. I'm making a little close up, uh, see how that bend is uh, looking. Uh, you probably see a little bit gap there, but that you always can give a little tweak and you can set it up. And this is your 30 degree bend.